in this lecture we will be dealing with the question 3.5 of erodo where we are uh, told that <coughs> a thin wire ring of radius r has an electric charge q there is a ring of uh, some radius r and is having a charge q we are asking what will be the increment of the force stretching the wire if a point charge q not is placed at the center of the ring they are saying that this ring is already having some positive charge as shown in this figure and uh, an additional charge let's say plus charge plus q not is kept when it is kept at center then obviously due to this positive charge being kept uh, at the center there will be a repulsion force between this central charge and this charge spread on the periphery of this ring so because of this repulsion force the uh, this ring will tend to stretch out a bit more uh, leading to increment of tension so uh, how can uh, we proceed how we can proceed on this question is like uh, let's take a very small segment very small elemental segment of uh, this ring uh, like uh, we can take a very small segment of this ring in this manner this angle is this angle is let's say d theta this angle is so this angle is let's say d theta increment of tension with the increment of tension there will be a tension force acting in this direction as well as in this direction let that incremental tension be dt dt this angle will be d theta by 2 so this angle will also be d theta by 2 we will have dt cos d theta by 2 in this direction and same dt sin d theta by 2 also in this direction same components can be done here also dt sin d theta by 2 we know that as q naught is kept at the center of uh, the ring and uh, this part of ring is having some charge dq which can easily be found as q and charge was spread in angle q pi and the charge in d theta angle would be this much q to dq so this q naught and this dq uh, must be repelling each other with a force k dq q naught by r square and this repelling force which is acting outward must be balanced by these components of incremental tension which is dt sin d theta by 2 2 times because we are working on both sides these two components which is, this will also be dt cos d theta by 2 these two components will get cancelled out and uh, as we see that this angle d theta is very very small that is why we can uh, take uh, it as the value of d theta <coughs> this is equal to 2 d t sin d theta by 2 can be written as d theta by 2 2 got cancelled with this, d theta got cancelled with this. So this is k q q naught by r square and 2 pi. This is the increment in tension. And this is the answer of the I would also like to tell you one more method to solve the same question in a very easy manner. What you have to do is you have to just uh, Increment in tension will be always equal to 
टोटल आउटपुट फोर्स टोटल आउटवर्ड फोर्स अपॉन टू पाई सिंपली लाइक हेयर टोटल आउटपुट फोर्स विल बी के टू क्यू नॉट बाय आर स्क्वायर विल बी टोटल आउटपुट फोर्स जस्ट अपॉन टू पाई यू गेट दी आंसर डायरेक्टली वन स्टेप सो इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस स्टेज देन यू विल बी एबल टू हैंडल मेनी क्वेश्चन Uh, within one or uh, two steps at time. Okay, so there will be total output force between this when having some two not charge at the center and some two charge at uh, on its periphery. So the total force output in output direction will be K Q two not by R square by two pi dash. Okay.